This is Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering. Now joining me on Inside the Film Room, Coach Jordan McNeil, the running backs coach for the Governors. Coach, again, thank you for joining us. Thank you all for having me. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into some football. Can you give me some of your overall feedback on how you felt the offense performed this past Saturday? Right. I thought we performed at a high level. Um, we were able to take care of the football, which is number one, and then we were able to distribute the football to a number of guys. Uh, the backs ran hard. The receivers got set. Receivers caught the ball. Um, Sheldon was distributing the ball to everybody. And obviously, the offensive line, they played phenomenal. Um, those guys were moving people off their spots, and it was able to make our job easier. Now, we're going to talk into those running backs. Ahmad Tanner, the big story, getting named OVC Offensive Player of the Week. Can you touch on his preparation this past week and just kind of being able to go out and perform the way he did this right. past Saturday? Uh, I think I told Coach Walden on, like, last Wednesday, I said he might be one of the hardest practice players I've ever coached. And uh, every single day he comes out and he finishes runs. He's running to and through the end zone encouraging guys and you know just being that senior graduate leader and it shows up every Saturday you know regardless like regardless of who we're playing you know he comes ready to play in all phases of the game and you know it definitely showed up when we play at Murray. Now another running back for the Governors Brian Sneed another another student who is performing phenomenally had a great game last Saturday can you touch on his performance as well? Absolutely you know Brian he, he every time he gets the ball it's everybody got to hold their breath so <laughs> Um, he's that special of a player, and, uh, you know, him and Ahmad both feed off each other. And, you know, when, when one's in the game, he's cheering them on. When others in the game, they're cheering each other on. Those guys are really tight, too. So um, I think having that guy that has your back in that room um, helps those guys out in the long run, too. Now, Coach, looking ahead for this week, UT Martin on Saturday, can you touch on the preparations that you would like to see in practice? Yeah, so just continuing to, like, be 1-0 every day and, you know, take the necessary steps every day that whether it's in – you know, on the field, I tell those guys, just stay in the training room. We're getting in the grind part of the season. Um, and then, obviously, the, the in-practice deals and the film work, um, just keep, you know, taking the necessary preparations for, for success. And don't grow weary just because we got one. We need to go get another one. And uh, it all starts back over. So uh, I think we're, we're in, the right, doing the right, in the right pad, doing the right things on and off the field. Um, just got to keep going forward. Defense didn't have a bad game either, being able to hold the racers to only six points for the game, two forced fumbles, two interceptions. Keeping all of this in mind with the offense, can you talk about the preparations and mindset coming into this week for yeah, UT Martin? Absolutely. I, I want to give a huge shout out to, to the Black Rain defense and, and our defensive units. That was the first game I felt like since I've since our staff has been here that we have played complimentary football. You know, we the 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 defense was getting take backs, getting stops. We held their stud running back, who I think I, I have a ton of respect for. I think I think uh, Witherspoon is one of the best running backs in the conference. Allowed, we only allowed 1.9 yards of carry. You know, he, he only he, – he, no one I, – I don't know anybody that stuff, stuffed him like that, you know. And so our defense played lights out, swung the football, had take backs. And then you look at our Bastone unit, which is our kickoff coverage unit, recovers that fumble, gives our gives the ball to the offense on the two. Instead of the offense, hey, not knowing what to do with it, hey, first play, we go put it in, don't waste time. That was the complimentary football I want to see. So we just got to carry over that momentum. You know, I told those guys they got to harness that momentum. We have to harness, um, you know, every everything that we've done and, ha and harness that energy we have right now and the execution. And we got to carry it over this week and just be us. You know, we're playing a great football team in UT Martin. Um, it's it's obviously has OVC implications. Um, you know, I think any team we play in the state of Tennessee is a rivalry team because. You know, we, we want to be known as the best football team in the state of Tennessee, and that's that's a big-time goal for our program. And um, UT Martin is certainly uh, a top 15. I think they're ranked number 12 this week. I mean, give them a ton of credit. They're a great program. They have great players, and we're going to play in a hostile environment, and it ought to be a really, really fun game, fun atmosphere. But we just got to go prepare, and, and we got to build on – uh, what we started, uh, you know, coming off this, coming off that opportunity, we, we I, I feel like I told our guys, for us, this is a new season. These last five games are a new season. So we have to continue to build on what we started last week. Coach, thank you so much for joining us on Inside the Film Room. Austin Pete takes on UT Martin on Saturday at 1 o'clock. Go, Governor. This has been Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering.